Florida Republicans are now looking to push the state's 15 week abortion ban to a six week abortion ban. And a few of you wrote to me and said, David, this bill doesn't make any sense. Women often don't know that they're pregnant before the six week mark. But that is exactly why it makes perfect sense to the people who are trying to completely ban abortion. It is a feature of this proposal that many women don't know they're pregnant before the six month mark, not a bug. And we are going to discuss that in more detail. The New York uh, New York Times reports Florida Republicans propose six week abortion ban. The bills would tighten the current 15 week limit and offer narrow exceptions. Governor Ron DeSantis said he welcomed, quote, pro life legislation. There is very little that is pro life about this bill. If a ban passes, write David Chen and Patricia Mize for The New York Times. If a ban passes and is signed into law by DeSantis, Florida would prohibit abortion before many women even realize they are pregnant. The bills had been telegraphed for weeks. Republican leaders who control Tallahassee sought to build on the anti abortion momentum generated by the U.S. Supreme Court's overturning of Roe v. Wade. DeSantis expected to run for president, said he supports additional restrictions, but the bills offer a reminder of the political complexities that he must navigate. Abortion restrictions appeal to Republicans, but 64 percent of Florida residents believe abortion should be legal in most or all cases. Now, that's actually you know, th this is a bigger trend with abortion in general, which is that if you go back to the start of the Roe v. Wade era, you find that today, rather than a month ago, rather than a year ago today, support for abortion being legal in most cases is higher than it has been at any time during that Roe v. Wade era. And so although the anti abortion stuff is useful for raising money from certain pieces of the electorate, it's useful for uh, playing red meat games and throwing red meat out to supporters. In practice, when you talk to Americans, although there are still many Americans, of course, tens of millions who are just against any abortion at any time period, for the most part, Americans believe abortion should be legal in most cases. And so there is a political complexity. But let's talk about the six week thing. Um, this is the, the critical aspect to this as a de facto way to just ban abortion completely. Why? Well, Pregnant women are considered to be four weeks pregnant by the time they miss their period. Often that's the first sign of pregnancy. Now, another thing that's important to, re to remember is how closely any particular woman would be tracking this does depend on whether she's trying to be pregnant or not. And we'll, we'll sort of get to that. But the first day of your last period is technically day one of the pregnancy. If you have a 28 day cycle, which is sort of like the average. So you're already four weeks pregnant at the point at which you suspect you might be missing your period. If you're not actively trying to conceive, you may not realize you're pregnant within the two weeks that are left after the missed period and missed periods can mean nothing, right? There could be a plus or minus seven days or something like that. So now you're at five weeks, but the limit is six weeks. I know people who did IVF in vitro fertilization. They were tracking, they were monitoring everything. They didn't know they were pregnant until what would have been five weeks into the pregnancy. Most OBs won't even see a patient for a new pregnancy until the eight week mark, unless you're having fertility issues and they say, come in, we're going to do um, an, an HCG, I believe it is blood test to figure out what's going on and, and check the level. So by this point, you are you would no longer legally be able to get an abortion in the state of Florida. That's the point. And so normal people would say, oh, that makes it really difficult to get an abortion at all. That doesn't make sense. The people who want the bill are saying, oh, that'll make it really difficult to get an abortion at all. That's exactly what we want without outright banning abortion. So this is something that Florida Republicans are pushing. We're going to continue seeing this in other states. Some states have really old laws that were that are still in place, but that weren't uh, relevant because of Roe v. Wade's existence. 
with the removal of Roe v. Wade. Now, those laws are once again being um, uh, revived and evaluated from a, a state a Supreme Court standpoint in some states. So this is all going to get worse and worse and worse. Now, quite frankly, I don't think Republicans at the federal level are really going to be running on this because they know the numbers. And in fact, I, I may be wrong, but in, in this nascent stage of his candidacy, I don't think I've heard Trump talk about abortion almost ever. Uh, and much of the focus when it comes to the social and cultural issues has been on transgender issues. And we've been talking about that and covering it. So we'll see where this goes in Florida. We'll zoom out. And in a year, we will see where the abortion landscape is. But it is absolutely scary and horrifying stuff.